two tip on the serve, one or two tip on the volley, one or two tip on the four hitter backhand, and then we're going to break out and we're going to hit all the courts over and see how good you guys are. Let's start off when you guys each serve just a couple of balls. And let's just look at this and see what we can learn from Mike and Bob as far as professional serving. One thing for all the juniors and the adults, if you ever want to have a great serve, you've got to at least use a continental or backhand grip. I don't want to get too technical, but don't come up to the line with this kind of little grip right here, like that. You want to hold the racket again with a continental or backhand grip. Your coaches can help you with that, but that's the only way to really stick a ball. And the other thing that you see about, let's watch Bob here for one second. Everybody focus on his racket face that has a W on it. Focus on the racket face. Just look at the face. Okay, do it again, Bob. Yeah, only look at the face. Don't look at his arm, his leg, his back. Look at the racket face only. Look at it. Look at the face. Focus on it. And good. Let me tell you what you're seeing. At first, you can all see the face, can't you? Watch. You can see it. Watch. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. And then it's gone. Why? Because that racket face is traveling 135 miles an hour toward the end of the swing. It's a momentum building swing. It doesn't matter if you're 6'4", 205. It's the speed of the racket when you strike the ball. That's the ball game. If your racket is traveling 135 miles an hour, it'll go 135 miles an hour. You can be 12 years old, 110 pounds, and if your racket face is coming up, so don't think you want to come up and be really muscular. You want to be loose and relaxed. And you want to have this kinetic gene. Look at this one, Bob. So he's relaxed. And the racket face flies. It's seamless. There's no muscling up there. It's racket head speed at the point of contact. So have a good grip. Be really relaxed. And that's what the speed is. Watch Mike and hit the ball over the fence for a second. We used to have Mike and Bob just this way. We'll put the balls up later. But we used to have them practice serving over the fence. Because if you can't do it again, you don't have enough. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't whip the ball that far. Bob, you knock one over the fence one time. If you got the ball, you can knock one over the fence. Another thing we did is bounce it over the fence. Watch Mike. When you bounce it over, pros always talk about pronating and being loose. The way you pronate is you bounce serves over the net. So we spend a lot of time not only hitting balls over the fence, but bouncing balls. We also might get down your knees and follow you. We also practice this a lot, serving from the knees. And if you really got it down, you can pop about a 110 or 120 from your knees and make it. And that really, that's something that's about 110 miles an hour from your knees. So these are some of the things that you 